this look and you want to hear me chat some shit and do a really bad job, then please carry on watching this video. So, I don't know what I'm doing with videos recently, whether I'm going to start doing them once a week or once every two weeks or something, but I want to upload more, it's just I need more ideas. So today we are going to be doing makeup. <sighs> this is a really weird setup for me because I've got a mirror right here, but it's like on a chair, on a pillow, because I'm poor as hell and, you know, DIY is my life. So I'm not used to this. I'm going to be looking down here like this way quite a lot because that's where the mirror is. And yeah, we are going to be looking at Jeffree Star's palette, his makeup palette. Yes, it's an old one, but I have wanted this for like a million years. It's Jeffree Star's beauty killer one. It's in this box. We're going to be having a look at Kat Von D's lipstick thing. <laughs> Kat Von D's Glitter Veil Lips Liquid Lipstick thing. And this one is called Satellite. Can you see? So this is the box that it comes in. This is the size of it compared to my noggin. It comes with Jeffree Star's iconic tape. So we're gonna open this. And when you open it, this is what you get inside. You get a post. Well, it's not a postcard. It's a card with Jeffrey on it, and it's advertisement for whatever he's selling at the time. That's new. This is his lip liners or something. It comes in this amazing Jeffrey Star packaging with his logo on it, iconic. And then when you take that out, it's just pink, of course. This is the wrapping for it. Pink bubble wrap. I mean, come on. Come on, Jeffrey. Pink bubble wrap. You know what? I've never seen colored bubble wrap until this. That's really insane. Because it's always just white. It's like, you know, see-through bubble wrap. Well, look at this. It's pink, man. So the big reveal. You can get fake ones of these. And how do you know they are fake, you may ask? Because at the end here, it will have a Z for cosmetics. It'll be cosmetics. Um, so yeah, that's how you know if it's fake. It says that it's vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing for people who don't know who Jeffree Star is because they might not know if it's animal cruelty free and vegan. Oh yeah. It's really soft. Um, this is textured a little bit and shiny as hell. Um, this is the back. There is nothing on the back apart from like numbers or whatever. So let's open the palette. We have Star Power, Princess, Violence, Rich Bitch, Courtney, Expensive, Confession, Vanity, China White, and Black Rainbow. My favorite of the palette is probably expensive. I really love it because it really is exactly the same color as Satellite by Kat Von D. And they just go amazing. And that is the kind of look we're gonna go for today. Um, What other one do I really love? Obviously I love Black Rainbow because if you can see, it has glitter in it as well. I don't know if you can see that very well. Probably not, but... Oh, is that a little bit of shine? I don't know, but yeah, it has glitter in it and it's really sick. I do use Princess a lot because it is kind of like a highlighter. Like, I use it as my highlighter. For someone who doesn't wear foundation, like, I don't know. I just like a little bit of highlighter. I think it just goes pop. This is what the Kat Von D one looks like. So shiny. But I will say this is very, very hard to get off. You will probably have stains from it later on that day if you wipe it off and also the next day. But you know, if you really give it a good scrub, you might get it off, but it's very hard to get off. I'm gonna start off 
by not telling you what brushes is because I don't know anything about brushes. I just get synthetic ones and this is the one I'm using. <laughs> it's a fluffy brush. That's all I know. I always start off with highlighter stuff. I know people may not like that, but that's me. We are going to use first Princess, which is this one. I just put like, I, I know a little, like people just do like a tiny little dot, but I kind of like it all over my nose in a way. I like it to just look like Christmassy, like a little reindeer nose, it's really cute. So, sometimes you can mix a little bit of color in with it, like maybe a little bit of blue or something if you're going for that kind of look. We might do that later, I don't know. Look at that shine though, girl. And then we're gonna get the same color and go above the, nope, underneath the eyebrow. Okay, so that is kind of how it looks. It's pretty cool. I know this is a lot for some people, but you know, each to their own. And then I just kind of, you know, go with the flow. This is just how I do my makeup, how I go with the flow. Like I kind of do makeup quick um, because I am not a beauty guru. So now that that's done, I'm a girl who likes to use her tape. I know this is like an old beauty hack, but trust me, this saves lives. Oh, I can never be amazing with this, but I can try. Um, you kind of, you leave a gap. Let me do a bit higher. And I'm gonna look absolutely insane now. Um, you kind of leave a gap underneath. Look at that bag. I mean, you could go shopping with it. And then when you're doing your eyeshadow, you could just be messy or whatever. And then you take off and you get like a snatched line. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this? Jesus help me. I'm gonna use the same brush. Oh my gosh, yes we are. We're gonna use Expensive, which is this one. We're gonna give it a good dip, dip, dip. And now we're just gonna go from the outside in because you've got quite a lot of product on there, so you wanna get it deeper here. And then when it starts like running out and fading, you kind of fade inwards, if that makes sense. So, here we go. Ew, I feel like there's something in my eye. So, start out here. You, you can go on the tape as well. It really it does not matter. So, let's do it. So you just keep layering it on, kind of on the outside and then stroke it inside. I know this might not look really great on the camera because I literally have one ring light and then my main light on. I do need more, kind of, I feel. So that is that eye with the expensive one. I'm gonna do the other eyeball. I wish I was actually going somewhere today because I hate doing my makeup when I'm not going anywhere, when I'm not doing anything because I feel like it's a waste. But you know, I just thought I'd do this video. See what you guys think and let me know if you want me to do more of these. I probably know the answer is no. <laughs> I swear someone's knocking at the door. But you know what? I'm not in. Sorry if you hear the dog barking in the background. It's because he's insane. I don't know what to say. Anyway, so the next thing I'm gonna do, you can see that I have left a gap right here. Um, I've left a gap here because I thought we could put a little color there. I don't know which color, I don't know what to do. I think I might just go with Princess again, like the highlighter one. And it's actually okay if you still have um, this color on the brush. Cause it'll just be like a really light fade anyway, so it all goes. And then you put a little bit of that 
on the inner bit of your eyes. So that's what that looks like after doing the highlighter stuff here and expensive there. So now it's the magic part. Now you take off the tape. Snatched. I've been doing this for like a few years and honestly, it's my look all the time, no matter what color I use. I use different colors, but this is kind of how I have my makeup a lot. Um, yeah, that's that step. We're gonna go for a smaller brush, like this. Because I live in the UK, I also had to pay for I don't even know what it's called. I just have to pay more when it gets in my country, okay? I had to pay like 16 pounds, 16 quid more on top of the palette and the shipping. It all come up to about 60 quid, which is this in the US. Well, girl, I've been wanting this palette for ages. I got the money for it and I'm happy. So you're just gonna put a little bit underneath. I sometimes blend it so it's like quite a lot underneath, but because I've got like quite big eyes and these big ass bags, I um, I don't always do it underneath because my eyes are so like baggy, it just kind of looks gross. So yeah, I just do it a little bit underneath, just like that, I don't know if you can see. This is a kind of trick of mine. I know that I've seen some people do this, but not a lot of people. Now I do have eyeliners, but I like to be lazy. <laughs> and I use eyeshadow. I use a really flat brush, very thin as well, like this. And we are going to use Black Rainbow, which is this one up here. And then you just pat it on. Well, you kind of have to stroke it. And this is gonna act as our easy eyeliner. This is also really good if you're doing like a really light look instead of like dead heavy, because it's not bold, it's not like a big bold eyeliner. Um, Because it's not, like very fluffy obviously because it's eyeshadow. Jeffree's palette is really pigmented. I was actually quite disappointed with this one, Rich Bitch, because I've seen it on other people and it comes up like real gold, but when I put it on, it really doesn't do it. And I pack it on as well. You do see that it's, cult, that, that it's gold, but it just doesn't look as gold as when I've seen people wearing it. Maybe it all comes down to editing. Edit in your photos, edit in your videos to make things look brighter and more bold. I don't know, but no shade or tea with Jeffrey Bond. Girl, stop lying. Okay, so I'm done with using Jeffrey's palette now. Like, you could use a little bit of black or something here just to give it a bit more dimension, but I kind of like it how it is, like this. Um, I'm not a person who wears fake eyelashes. I do have some, but I'm really, really, really bad at putting them on. I just can't do it. My eyelashes are quite long anyway. I mean, I do like the look of fake eyelashes. So if you have them, please put them on. This is the time to do it. Um, if you don't, then this is what I do. My mascara is from Lush and honestly, it's really good. It's called Eyes Right. And obviously it's vegan and not tested on animals. So this is the one I use. Wow, I've never really noticed my bags, but they are absolutely terrible. <laughs> e, I think it's this light, you know, because I've never noticed them until I've looked in the mirror. Why do people always look insane when they're doing the makeup? I don't know. It's all the faces you have to pull to get it perfect. So I've done my other eyes mascara and it just looks terrible, but like I say, I am not a beauty guru and yeah, we're just trying today. So now that I've done that, I do have white and black eyeliner. Um, this one is from the B collection. I think it's just called B. It's like that. A B with a dot. 
uh, that's vegan as well. Obviously, all the makeup I'm using is vegan. See how I haven't done any color here? I don't do eyeliner all the way over, just to where like I did the eyeshadow underneath. So I think we'll use white today. You can use black. It just depends what you want to do. I put it in my waterline and bring it a little bit out of my waterline onto under my eye. Just because I think it looks really cool. Like mixes in. So now we're quickly going to do eyebrows. I don't take too much time on eyebrows because I get scared and stressed. And I feel like eyebrows is kind of that thing that everyone goes mad about. Um, we're going to use Vanity. I know it's a very strange colour to use for eyebrows, but that's what I'm going with. So I just go and pat it, drag it a little bit, and just follow the eyebrow. If you're like Jeffrey and don't have eyebrows, then honestly, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Go and watch Jeffrey. I'm sure he's got a video saying how he does his eyebrows or whatever. I just do this to darken them and just to make it more defined, kind of. I don't use concealer, so if you use concealer, obviously just do your normal eyebrow look. Like, that is literally one eyebrow done. I do not take too much time on them. So that's eyebrows done. And now, that is the end of the Jeffree Star palette that we're going to be using, which is beautiful. It's amazing. And we are going to go on to Kat Von D's lip stuff. So at this point, if you do have a lip scrub, I have these two. So if you want a vegan one, go out and get these. So it's time to scrub your lips with that, wipe it off, maybe put the tiniest bit of um, lip balm on, maybe wipe it off a little bit, just so, you know, stays a little bit moist and looks not crusty. And then you wanna wipe your lips so then they are dry. Let's apply. So I like to dry the lip stuff because it's a little bit wet at first um, by using Jeffree's card. <laughs> so these are the lips and honestly, amazing. I would have every single color. I would love to have the red one. Oh, it looks so good. Um, I went with one of the most weirdest, coolest colors that I could find, which was the satellite one. Um, this stays on for ever and ever and ever. It's very hard to get off, just so you know. Jeffrey's colors are really good with his lip stain stuff. Um, Cause I got the, I think it's abused by him. Oh my God, that sounds so bad. I got abused by Jeffree Star. But his color that is called abused. And honestly, it looks so good, but it come off so easily inside the lips. You know what I'm on about, like, how you can see a lip like that. It come off so easily out here when you had a drink or food. It come off so easily. Um, but with Kat Von D's ones, you can eat a whole meal and drink and it just won't come off. Maybe it'll fade later on after the night, but it doesn't leave that um, horrible line in your lips. So I really do prefer... Kat Von D's lip stuff, but I really love Jeffree Star's eyeshadows. So ignoring the fact that I have got these atrocious bags that I wasn't aware of, um, this is the makeup look. Yes, I do not use foundation, so you would have done your foundation. You would have done whatever you normally do, fake lashes and all that kind of stuff. But this is my look without foundation, and yeah, I hope you like it. Let's do a cool little video montage thing like the beginning of the video let's do that now i hope you enjoyed this video please follow me on all of my social media ding ding dong dings and yes please leave a like if you like it, please leave a comment if you want to. Please ring the cowbell, which is the notification bell. And please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, Moo.